Hi Gemini, this is your romance reading for August 2020. I am Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and you came in on number three. I'm doing the first three and then I'm going back to the monthly routine um, as it is too much uh, time consuming to sort out who's first. Well done, you had um, something like uh, 83 I believe uh, 86 uh, views and likes on this the last uh, romance video how lovely thank you very much for your likes and shares please keep on continue doing so you are competing with the Pisces <laughs> and uh, uh, Brenda and I always say oh well Gemini is the first with me she said Brenda from Brenda Terror Readings and uh, Pisces is second that was last week well let's have a look at what it is going to be this month I love it thank you very much for keeping us on our toes and we do enjoy it Brenda and I I'm the Gemini she's the Pisces okay and I love Pisces people I love everybody that uh, is loving as well well, you should come and join us in the live sessions. So if you're new, then please subscribe and hit the bell on all. And you'll become a cyber angel if you join us live. Um, my cyber, able, uh, cyber angels, thank you for being here and coming back. Thank you very much for your faithful, loyal following. And if you are new and you join us in the live sessions, you can do that on Monday, uh, Wednesday and Friday. I give away free cards and I also um, answer questions that are supported by a donation. That's a super chat or a super sticker. Okay, let's get started with the reading. But before I start with um, the reading, if you would like to have an extended reading, a personal extended reading, then either go to the website and you can find the address uh, underneath this video in the description box or in the right top hand corner. If you click on that and you click on the picture of the angel, it will take you to the website. There is also going to be a new reading added onto the list and that is a crystal ball reading. And a crystal ball reading is not only a crystal ball but also a clarif clarified with cards. Okay, so let's get started, Jemmy Gem Gems. And you've got the soulmate. So yes, this is your soulmate. And if you're not hooked up, you might be meeting your soulmate in the first week of August. Now let's see what kind of cards we have here. From the tarot card, we have the star. And the star means your wish is coming true. Or your goal is coming into fulfillment and you've got number 17 so you are in eight the house of strength and money wow somebody's got your back so um, you are standing in your strength you the star also represents Aquarian Aquarius so you might meet up with an Aquarius and they are your soulmate you are in your strength and you might be receiving a gift of money this could also be an uh, an inheritance as we have the ancestors and number 42 so you are definitely in balance Wow you could be meeting your soulmate in the first week somebody or the angels ancestors are in heaven or in the other realm um, they might have had a late start in life as well or uh, being picky and that's where you <laughs> get your uh, your 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 um, history or your character from you make certain and you want to make certain that you've got the right person as a soulmate you've taken your time well done you're certain that you 
um, will be meeting your soulmate or you have met your soulmate and you're wow you're powerful you're in your strength and you're balanced emotionally and mentally and physically okay in the second week we have forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments perhaps you have been married before or been hooked up before and you are and you got separated now you will be meeting your soulmate and if you are already hooked up yes you've been selective and you knew that this was your soulmate and you know how to forgive and learn because by learning you keep the relationship uh, balanced and, and and fresh refreshing and exciting and the passion will always stay there and be forgiving um, yes you be forgiving but you don't have to forget if you don't forget then you can learn from your mistakes and their mistakes you learn each other's boundaries through that so if this is not a new lover and then you are definitely with your soulmate and you make it work you both make it work uh, you respect each other as much as you love each other you know what the other wants and what you want and you keep the communication going by forgiving you communicate forgive and learn well done now you've got the eight of wands so things are moving rapidly um, perhaps this is a very passionate and exciting time you will be getting news perhaps you might be planning a, a, a trip away together Ooh, so exciting things are happening all at once or perhaps you are planning your honeymoon perhaps you are taking this up to the next level um, we have the mandrake we have the mandrake and that is number 37 and the mandrake is magic it's a magical root now the man I, I'm they call me a witch yes I accept it <laughs> um, but what is a witch what's the definition of a witch I think of myself as a healer and yes I think I uh, I was um, a, a person that worked with herbs in a previous life, definitely, and I'm proud um, to honour that uh, accusation that I'm a witch. Hold on. So, like I said, um, the mandrake is a, a magical root, and the magical root, well, they are herbs, and that's why I started talking about being a herb woman yes I think I was somebody in a past life working with herbs and healing people and in this life I've done aromatherapy as well and I'm mentioning this because perhaps you might learn something from me do something magical okay do something magical so perhaps use uh, aromatherapy uh, aromatherapy oils and massage your partner or let your partner massage you because aromatherapy is some something mystical and magical to us mundane normal people everyday people um, what does uh, aromatherapy do well it all depends what oil you use but like um, lavender and rose oil um, will um, soothe and relax you okay lavender is also used to um, disinfect so you are like if you have acne you can use a, a few drops of lavender oil in water and then take a piece of cotton wool and dip it and wash your face with that and it's very good for acne but not on open wounds like rose water is also very gentle and uh, healing for your skin so if you use rose oil you can uh, calm somebody down and feel relaxed besides the massage 
um, if you use eucalyptus you can uh, enlighten the energy uh, just go into the health foods uh, the health food store or the health store they usually uh, sell these oils and you can use them for massaging or burning a candle um, and oil and that will enhance the atmosphere so do something come out of your comfort zone and um, be uh, and, and use the uh, the theory of the mandrake root and do something new bring something new into your love life <coughs> this is how you can maintain the um, passion and the excitement in your love life then in the third week we have stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance in other words do an offering okay she's offering here to something from the god i think it must be the god of venus or cupid just i'll let that so you can see I think the angel has got little wings I think it's Cupid that she's making an offer to or perhaps the goddess Venus um, that's the goddess of love okay so make an offer to or meditate and make an offer to the divine and the angels uh, through that say thank you very much offer your gratitude I mean, um, uh, contemplate and meditate on um, receiving romance, somebody coming into your life. Have faith. Now, what I see now is you've got two eights, so you are definitely in your power. Okay? Things are happening rapidly and very, very fast now. If you're not going on holiday, you might be getting cyber news, telephone calls, invitations, uh, text messages, emails, but you've also in the third week got an eight, and that's the eight of pentacles. Ooh, somebody's recognizing you. You've got recognition. Ooh, 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 exciting. Your offering is working out. Okay, unfortunately, the clarification card might not be very nice because we've got a snake be careful for slithery slimy um, the cute boys I would say you know when somebody looks too good with the hair slicked back and looking greasy and then I always have to think of a snake slithery and slimy <laughs> anyway be careful so forewarned is forearmed somebody might fancy you but there might not be the right type for you especially if you are hooked up be careful there could be a snake in the grass that is jealous of you that you have such a good relationship going and if you haven't got a relationship going if you're not hooked up then be careful of people that just want to have a holiday romance if you want that that's fine but if you want a steady relationship then be careful of people misusing you or abusing you make sure you get all the information that you can get where they live whether what they do are they married look at this little person sitting on the bench looking in the book and that to me says you need more information before you make any commitments so be aware and be aware and stay optimistic in the third week if you're not hooked up and if you are also because somebody might be trying to come in between you too okay so you are you people have an eye on you you've got public recognition you've got romantic feelings well whether you're hooked up or not your feelings are real and worth exploring yes enjoy the passion and start exploring boom but take time out take time out for each other again meditate if you aren't hooked up but take time out meditate contemplate in contemplation and meditation you manifest 
you let the divine and the angels know what you are wishing but if you are hooked up take time out for each other and explore your passion and also take your rest now and contemplate and meditate see what is the nicest and remember the nicest moments you've got the cross are you worried about something are you up in your head about something well don't be come out of your head have faith have trust as they trust you and have faith in you too number 36 is a nine an end to worry okay you've got the recognition so you've got nothing to worry about and your partner is with you because they love you and they they admire you okay and if you're not hooked up then don't worry there will be somebody coming in most probably this month very soon okay but you must also do the work by going out and being seen okay now we have a purple card and a purple card is a spiritual card and we do have the meditation card here okay and offering contemplation passion follow your heart yes follow your heart sometimes it's not good to let your heart be ruled by your head but be aware just stay aware just be aware okay now Archangel Michael hands you an energetic key this sacred key allows you to follow your divine life purpose there you go and you will get hooked up only if you believe and stop worrying life has its ups and downs you know I mean I was married and I got divorced and I got married again so there's you can choose when to start again there's always a, a my mum used to say for every jar there is a lid so go out there and be seen don't um, isolate yourself get out of your comfort zone be seen okay I hope you've enjoyed this reading gems and please like and share again and follow your heart's desire okay you can do it you are awesome I love you Jimmy's so take care big hugs from Shah cyber mum and I hope to see you in the live sessions and please like and share enjoy the summer ciao ciao